This is the control panel for this hydroforming bellows machine. This control panel will allow the operator to form a bellows assembly uh, in a manual cycle or an automated cycle. The particular switch on the panel will turn the oil on and off. When it's on the off position, you can cycle the machine a dry run without any tube or any oil flow into the system for the tube just to sequence the dyes and make sure the machine is functioning properly. This is the hydraulic system used to automatically form the ballast assembly. This system is equipped with flow control valves, pressure reducing valves, field check valves, sequence valves, and pressure release valves. This is a 25 horsepower motor, three phase, and there are pumps, pressure compensated pumps mounted on either end of the motor. The motor is a double shafted motor. This hydraulic system is rated at up to 5,000 psi. 90% of the valves are all stacked, one on top of each other to consolidate space in setting up the hydraulic system. There's a filtering system that will ensure that the oil is clean throughout the circulation. We're looking at the micro switches which control the forward and reverse stroke of the pressure die cylinder. Proximity switch is mounted on the die tension cylinder. Proximity switch controls the retraction of the forming cylinder which separates the dies ready for the next or the forming of a new part. These two proximity switches, the one to the right is the center and the one to the left is the final. There are two arms on either side of the pusher block which activate the proximity switches during the operation. The proximity switch is for safety so when the plastic shield is closed the proximity switch is made and you can operate on the manual cycle. But this, this little cover is not down. When you start to form, you cannot run on the automatic cycle. Basically, this cover is only to protect from oil splashing out when the operation is done. Top view of the forming dies. These are the OD dies that surround the tube while we pressurize the tube and collapse it. At the end seal, that will seal one end of the tube so we can pressurize the tube and form it. These dies are made of alloy steel, they're high precision, and there is a, uh, a patent pending on our positioning, the pitch positioning system that we use. It's something that we, uh, we have to protect here pretty vigorously. We're looking down at two holes that come down, uh, two shafts that come down from the bottom of the plate. When these shafts extend, it sets the, the tube right on center so the operator doesn't have to install it. In other words, he rests these on top of that and when the dies, when we get ready to form, these will go come out of the way and we will be able to form without hurting the dies at all or the dies making contact with these two shafts. Looking at a little draining table where after we do the forming, the operator sets the dies uh, vertical on this table which will allow the oil to drain back down into a reservoir and from this reservoir there will be a sump pump to automatically pump the oil back into the main reservoir and it also will filter it at the time it's pumping it looking at a top view of the machine itself.
these machines, in terms of their length, are determined by the preformed length of tube that is used when forming a part. Some machines are rated for 30 inches, some are rated for 40, and so forth. The power supply is attached separately to the machine. We're going to make a dry run on the machine first before we run apart. The operator is going to turn the switch into the down position. Okay, Jorge. Okay. And more of a side view of the machine. The machine is fairly compact and will form parts in seconds depending on the length and the diameter of the tube. The plastic shield is always open when you're loading up a part. So shut the part now, Jorge. Shut the door. Now he'll close the door and when he does that there is a micro switch here and this micro switch will tell the system we're ready to run on an automatic cycle. This is the first cycle when he depresses those two palm buttons the, the two shafts that centers the tube ready for forming will come in the up position. The hands are again. Okay, now he's going to depress the two palm buttons again and the machine will form in the automatic cycle. Okay, start, Jose. Jorge, start. Present, the pusher block is at the rear proximity switch as we, these things are kind of uh, not in focus, but that is the rear proximity switch. There is the pusher block with the upper seal. Okay, go ahead. When he depresses the button, there goes the shafts. He depresses the button again. And now, you can see the cycle that takes place. The tube is presently pressurizing. The eyes close, open up. The pusher block returns and opens up. Cycle complete. Now we're going to uh, form with the tube. Actual cycle. Everything is being run at uh, at actual running time, so you can get an idea how long it will take to form a tube. Each of these tubes has nine convolutions. They are for a uh, General Motors a collapsible steering column. There's nine convolutions, and the last two convolutions on the end are higher than all the uh, previous seven. Okay, now we're gonna actually run a part. He places the part on the inside there. He closes the window, takes the shield. He goes back. Okay. Now he's depressing the button. Okay, Jorge. And now the cycle starts. He search inside the tube, the tube seal ends. Now we form. The squirt of oil is just from the part is formed. Okay, I'll to take it out. Hold it there, Horan, so I can see it. Okay, there you go. Now hold it right there. This part is all formed. Probably doesn't take any more than. 8 to 10 seconds at the most. Okay, Jorge, place it on the... Now he puts it on the tray over here where we let the oil just drain while he runs another part. Okay. We're loading another tube in there now. He closes the window. Just go for him, Jorge. First cycle, the things come up. Second cycle. Go ahead, Jorge. Goes in there. The guy's closed. The tube is pressurizing. Closes. Opens up. Okay, Jorge, take it out. Michael.
I'll install it right here. It installs the tube in there, it closes the shield, goes through a sequence over at the table, over at the control panel. Now the pusher block will go inside the tube, the tube seal, the guide surround it. At that time we're pressurizing the tube, which takes about two seconds, forms, stops, opens up. The guys come back and are pulled back for the next cycle. Cycle complete. Looking at a formed part that has just been completed, formed, multi convolutions with a flange on one end and a reduction on the other. This is done with another machine that AMH produces the flanging and the reduction. This is the part that we're forming on the machine. This is the drawing of it. I don't know how good a view you can get of it. Again, this is the drawing of the part that we're forming. It's a collapsible steering column for General Motors.